Hello and welcome back to the Introvert Circus. So for today's video, it is day 12, I believe, 12 of Vlogtober, yes. And we are going to do a thing that I do every single Monday, which is set up Sirius's bullet journal. So if you're not familiar with bullet journaling, it is a really simple way, or it can be very elaborate, but it can be. The way that I use it is a really simple way to organize a schedule for a period of time, the way that I do it is by week, for different things, to be able to track if something has been done. People use it in a variety of ways for their business, for school, for household things, for habits, any of those things you might want to track. I use a completely different bullet journaling system and journaling planning system to plan my writing work for when I write about dogs and dog books and magazines, all that good stuff. But this is specific for serious and it's something that I started doing last summer. So I've been keeping this bullet journal since actually since August 2019 and it's just a notebook. You can use absolutely anything you want. I tend to um, like cute stationery. I'm a Disney fanatic and so when Disney released this Disney dog collection, it's what I went with for the dog bullet journal. And I like to track um, weekly what we're working on, anything. I've used it in different ways. So when I started doing this a year ago, um, or a little year and change ago, it was before my two senior dogs had passed. And so I not only used it to track training, I was also using it to track health things that were going on um, that I needed to monitor. I actually got really excited about bullet journaling when Sirius had knee surgery two years ago and I was managing a full rehab procedure um, with her physical therapist vet after surgery. So let's get started and I'll chat about this as we start bullet journaling. So you can make this as complicated or as elaborate as you want. Again, I tend to add a little bit of fun, but mostly keep it pretty simple. So today is Monday, it is October 12th. So I'm just gonna put October 12th as my start date up here. And I'm going to go down the page, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can do this any way um, you want. What I do is I make, and I adjust it sometimes, different times of the week um, or different weeks, I'll do something slightly different, but mostly I do the same thing. And I'm just using this bookmark as a straight edge to make some lines. I like to start um, my bullet journal spreads with a training session at the top. This is what I'm using this for, and then I will have other sections below. These are not even necessarily, but that's fine. I'm not a particularly big perfectionist. It's just to give me a little sense of space there. I also have some dog-themed washi tape. You definitely don't need to use this, but I like the cuteness factor, so I have it and I'm gonna put it in. Excuse my bookmark as a straight edge to break that off. So this is my training session section. You're going to fall and I'm going to catch you. My tripod, I bumped my tripod. Sorry. All right. Um, so I'm going to just do little lines up here to divide these sections into goals that I'm working on for the week. And so this is where I will put what my priorities are. I always track walks. We've actually already done one of our walks today. We like to do two walks a day when we can, weather permitting. Um, I want to, and this is, but this is where I'll put in what my training stuff is. So it shifts each week. I'm gonna put an other here, which will let me categorize or capture like when we're just working on random things that don't have sort of a category. We're working on some tricks around kicking. I have a tutorial, um, what's the weirdest? Um, so kick uh, at side. If you saw my kicking, teach your dog to kick video, I think it was last week and the week before. Um, we're still practicing kicks, which is a new trick for her. We are still working on our back leg weaves. 
Uh, I'm going to put hold in because she knows hold, but I'm continuing to work on different textures. She doesn't have as much experience with that, and that's something I want to have more um, experience with, especially building towards um, cute holiday photos. And then I think for the last trick, what are we gonna do, Sirius? She's like laying right off camera. I think that for that one, I am going to, what did I put in last week? Sometimes I'll look back and see what I did. Uh, leg loose hole, oh yeah. I'm gonna add her bear trick, which is a variation on sit pretty, um, but she doesn't have incredible core strength. So we're gonna actually work on that more. So then in this section, I also like to mark um, and track grooming. Newfoundlands are highly grooming intensive. So I like to groom daily. And so for this, I will just do days of the week and I divide grooming into a few categories. So we have brush, we have toes. If you saw my tutorial for dremeling, do toes every week. So I'll mark which day I do that, ear cleaning, ears and wipes. You have a heavy coated dog that is a messy squatter. You know when they pee why you might want to wipe um, when it's between baths. So then that is that. So I'll be able to put, I'm going to use this washi tape here. And then my last section, I always leave a note section on the bottom, and then I will put a, uh, I'm gonna put stretching, because we have stretching exercises from her physical therapist, from when she graduated from PT. I just like to do it, we don't have to do it, but um, it's a good idea. Something I like to make sure that we are keeping her well exercised and that includes focusing on stretching. So that's just a checkbox. Oops. And then sometimes I'll use multiple colors of highlighter. I didn't bring multiple colors um, in from my office. So this will be what it is. And then I just put a note section. And this will be a spot where I can put anything that comes up during the week. Um, I made a lot of use of that when we were monitoring health conditions. When I had health conditions monitoring with my older dogs, um, I would have med spots. I would often use like a two page spread to be able to have room to do training spots, med spots, anything else I needed to be tracking. And then I just like to highlight the days because it makes it easier for me to keep track of. This is where I could use multiple colors of highlighter, but I didn't bring that multiple in. And this is just a um, Crayola Super Tips. If you watch any kind of planner video, you've probably seen these, they're really inexpensive and they do the job really well. So this is, oh, I forgot to highlight notes. So this is what our training goal for the week looks like. And do we hit absolutely every box every day? That was papers that just fell out of here um, that were, what is this? Oh, here, the, this was some of the initial proof samples for my activity book to this journal, which is actually kind of built around some of my interest in bullet journaling for dogs. Um, it releases December 1st. It's available for pre-order now. The link is in the description box below, but this is some of the mock-ups that my publisher made and sent me several months ago. I don't think I've ever shown these on the internet. Um, I now have, the book is now completely done and laid out, but these were some of the early conceptions, conceptions, conceptual pieces um, that were getting figured out for different activities and how to track the things that you're working on with your dogs, how to teach your dog fun activities. I did not even remember those were stuck in the back of her bullet journal. But I love this and you can adapt it every week. So, you know, sometimes like if we, 
go to the beach I will just write through that whole day and be like beach trip because did we do like lots of training maybe maybe not sometimes I'll put really simple things like focus because we're working on focus work um you know to you know that that's a priority and so I'll put that on there it doesn't have to be a fancy trick but I love bullet journaling it lets me see growth over time it lets me make sure that I'm working with her around key um, areas that I want to, you know, see growth in with different tricks or skills. When we were actively working towards rally titles, I would have rally skills built into this so that I could track, did we practice rally? And that doesn't mean we spent like an hour drilling rally. It meant we, did we do 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes of rally practice. Okay, great. I can track that. So it just helps me to keep on target. It helps me to be like, oh, right. I need to remember that this was something I wanted to work on this week. And I just find it really helpful to be able to then go back and see what were we working on a couple of months ago? What were we working on last week? What were we, you know, what, it helps me to think forward with goals that I might have with my dog. So let me know in the comments if you track what you're working on with your dogs, how you track it. I'd love to know. I know some people have, you know, spreadsheets and things like that, that they keep track of training goals or um, titles or things like that. And I really like the paper quality of keeping it in a bullet journal like this, but I'd love to know what you do. And we will see you in another video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and give this video a thumbs up.